Hey, this clip is from the most recent episode of the Nick Simmons Show. If you want to see that episode in its entirety, I've linked it below. But today, we're talking to Jaquavius. Jaquavius is a very talented runner with great range and wants to go pro and running, but isn't sure where to start. Today, I give him my best advice on how to turn pro and running. Let's roll that clip. What is, what would you say like requirements would be to like run pro these days? And yeah. like, cause I'm still running for that school in Canada, but we don't know if we're going to get a season. And I just feel kind of yeah. stuck and I want to like take it to that next level, but I'm like, I need to talk to someone. <laughs> Boy, I mean, that's a tough one, right? First of all, I'm just going to say, Jaquavius, I'm so impressed with your tenacity, your perseverance, right? You're going from state to state and program to program, but you know what you want and you're not afraid to go get it, right? And I just, I'm so impressed with that. And that's the kind of grit that leads people to be successful at anything in life, whether it's business or athletics, just that never give up attitude. And you're not afraid to think outside the box either. You've run for, you know, organized programs for clubs, you know, for Canadian teams. But uh, to get to the heart of your question, it's actually perfect timing because um, on my Monday monologue video this week, I actually talked about how somebody makes the Olympic team and how someone even gets the Olympic trials in the United States. And we went through and we talked about the standards for each event. So I'm going to go through and pull that up again uh, just for the people that missed the Monday show. But these are the standards that you need to get invited to the Olympic trials. And I would really say if you're not keying in on these standards, it's going to be very difficult to have a chance to get funded, right? To have a chance to pick up a shoe contract or get support from your uh, from your country. You know, in our case, it's it, a little bit of money comes from USATF. Um, and, and, it, and it is expensive to train at this level. So here are the qualifying standards as published at USATF.org to compete at the U.S. Olympic trials. Um, and I'll give men and women standards for all of our listeners. Um, and we'll go 400 through 5K um, just because I think that that's what, what is most pertinent to our audience. Uh, for men in the 400, 45-2. In the 8, 146-2. In the 15, 337-5. And in the 5K, 13.25. And for women in those same events, 51.3 for 400, 202 for 800, 406 for 1500, and 15.20 for 5K. Now, if you haven't run those times, don't be discouraged. But those should be the kind of times that are in the back of your mind where you're thinking to yourself, I need to be progressing towards those um, if I want to make, say, uh, the, you know, the 2021, certainly, but maybe the 2024 Olympic trials, you know, and if, if that's something that you believe is realistic and you obviously have the grit and the tenacity and the hard work, then the next part might be the hardest part of all. And that's how do you pay for it? Um, you know, for me, when I turned pro, I had a, uh, you know, I was, I was right at the Olympic standard. I had a feeling that I could make the Olympic team, but I had to get from, graduating college to the Olympic trials that were two years later. I was so, so very fortunate that Nike picked me up and gave me a two-year deal, a really basic deal. I, I lived right at the poverty line, but it was enough to allow me to train full-time, and that allowed me to continue to progress. But I had a lot of teammates that still worked part-time jobs. I had people that worked at Home Depot. There were people that bust tables or, or were waiters or waitresses so that they could make enough to, to have that chance. Now, are those times... You know, I think the window is probably closing on in 2021. Are those times that you think you could possibly hit in three years? Absolutely. Well, there it is. You got the confidence. You know what you need to do. Now, those times may change slightly between now and 2024. They're going to publish a new set of standards in 2024. But every four years, they're very, very similar. So now you've just got to ask yourself, what is going to give you the best chance to hit those times in three years? What's going to give you the most resources? You know, is it running for a Canadian team? Is it running for um, a U.S. club? Is it, is it trying to, to, you know, just piece things together? Only you can answer that question. But if you really believe that you have what it takes to run those times, then you have what it takes, you know, ultimately to qualify for the trials and potentially make an Olympic team. And, and that's really where the money is at. Making an Olympic team is where where your you know your dreams become a reality and you start making you know really good money and potentially not every Olympian is rich but when you make an Olympic team that the sponsorships tend to roll in you know subsequently. 
All right, I hope you found that helpful. Guys, I got to shout out my company, Run Gun. They help me produce these shows so that we can have content for you every day. And right now, I'm talking about Run Gum Wintergreen. This little pack right now can be found nationwide at Walmart right at the check lane. And you may notice something funny about this one. That's right, I hand autographed it. Guess what? I hid hand autograph packs of Run Gum in the packages before we shipped them to Walmart. There are 10 autograph packets on Walmart store shelves right now at the cash register. Good luck finding one.